We have a rather interesting building again today. Today we are going to be spray foam insulating an airplane hangar. This is another great application for spray foam. We're going to be spraying directly onto the steel and any of the OSB that you see here. Your standard airplane hangar is in a sense a pole building with a really big door. We're going to be not only insulating the building itself in terms of all the walls, but we will also be applying a layer of spray foam insulation over the entire surface of the door, adding some substantial R value there in an otherwise very difficult to insulate area. This is going to help give us a much more tight air seal around the entire building. When the spray foam is applied to the surface, as you'll notice here, it grows and replicates the surface it's sprayed onto. So you'll see the corrugations from the steel coming through the foam, even though the foam may be an inch thick. The problem with the steel, although it's very durable and makes for a good building shell, is that all of the seams tend to leak a lot of air, and steel is a very good conductor of heat. So if it's hot out, the steel gets hot. If it's cold out, the steel transmits any heat from the building to the outside rather effectively. The primary reason we're insulating this particular hangar is in order to get the airplane engine to start reliably and without a lot of stress on the internal components, it's really nice to have the engine around 40 to 50 degrees. And if you want to go out flying during the colder time of the year in this climate, we really need to have some heat in the airplane hangar. That heat can be very expensive if you have no insulation in a steel building.